Hello, my name is Mark. I'm Mark too. Welcome to Oasis Kids Church from Home. Today we're going to have so much fun learning together about God and the story of Daniel. Let's hear more from our friend Rachel. Ready, little man? Yeah. Ready, set, let's go! <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Rachel and I'm so excited you're here with us today because we're going to have fun together. We are talking about a man named Daniel and Daniel has next level faithfulness. Daniel was faithful to God his whole life. That means Daniel chose to stand with God. And you know what? Daniel shows us something we can all do too. We can have next level faithfulness when we choose to ask for help. And that's our big idea for today. I can be faithful by asking for help. Let's say that together on three. One, two, three. I can be faithful by asking for help. Great job. God knows we don't have all the answers, but He can help us because He's bigger and stronger than all things, and He knows everything. He will stand with us when we face big things. There's a song that would be so much fun for us to sing together. Are you ready to sing with me? Let's stand together and sing big and strong. Let's sing big and strong together. Can you guys move around? Good job. We're gonna sing My God is Big and Strong. Let's sing it out together. My God is big and strong. He says I'm special, God stands with me, He's there when I'm in trouble, my God is big and strong, let me hear ya, He loves everyone, my God is big and strong, He loves everyone, Can I say hey again? Hey. Let me see you dance. Hey. Let me see those dance moves. And say hey. hey. Sing God cares for me. God cares for me. He says I'm special. He says I'm special. Great job singing that song today. You can sit down now. I love that song because it reminds us that God stands with us because He loves us and is there for us when we're in trouble. Now there's someone who was in trouble a few times and He shows us how we can be faithful to God too. His name is Daniel and his story can be found right here in this book. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible. This is God's special book. I can't wait for you to hear how Daniel was faithful. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch our Bible story. Slapstick Theater. Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar's dream. This is Daniel. Oh, hey. Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Daniel served in the king's service as a wise man. Yeah. The king of Babylon was a man named Nebuchadnezzar. And one night he had such a disturbing dream that he couldn't sleep. Ah! He called in some of the wise men of his kingdom and demanded that they tell him what he had dreamed. The wise men said, tell us the dream 
and we will tell you what it means. But the king told them that they must tell him what the dream was and what it meant. If they did, they would be rewarded. But if they didn't, they would be severely punished. Uh... The wise men asked again for the king to tell them what the dream was, and they would tell him what it meant. No. But the king wanted them to tell him what the dream was. The wise men said that the king's request was impossible, and that no one except the gods can tell someone a dream. The king was furious when he heard this, and ordered that all the wise men of Babylon be killed. Ah! Because of the king's decree, men were sent to find and kill Daniel and his friends. When the men arrived, Daniel asked why the king had ordered such a thing. The men told Daniel what happened with the king's dream, and Daniel went at once to the king to ask for time to tell the king what his dream meant. Hmm, fine. Then Daniel told his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, to pray to God to show them the secret of the king's dream. That night, God showed Daniel the secret of the dream in a vision. Daniel praised God for this and then was taken to the king. Come on! Daniel said, There are no wise men, enchanters, magicians, or fortune tellers who can reveal the king's secret. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets, and he has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in the future. Now I will tell you your dream and the visions you saw as you lay on your bed. And so Daniel told the king what his dream was and what it meant. The king bowed before Daniel and praised him. The king said to Daniel, Truly, your God is the greatest of gods, a revealer of mysteries, for you have been able to reveal this secret. Then the king promoted Daniel to be the chief of all the wise men and also promoted his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the king's court. That was an amazing story. Daniel really needed help to know King Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Daniel shows next level faithfulness by asking for help. I want to remember this Bible story, so let's make a drawing right now to remember it. Grab your crayons or markers and some paper and let's draw with Gus. Here. Today we're going to draw the king from our Bible story, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's get drawn. Start with a big L in the middle of your paper like this. Now, connect the two ends of the L with a slightly curved line. That's his nose. On each side of his nose, let's draw two big circles for his eyes. And then another little circle inside each one. And now color those in. Hey, that looks great. We're off to a good start. Now, let's go to the right side and draw a straight line going down the side of his eye. Now another one on the left. Now we're going to connect those lines on the bottom with some bumps like this to make his beard. And draw a line across up here by his nose, but wait. Don't draw through the nose. Okay, there you go. I think we should add some more bumps onto this line like this. Bump, bump, bump. And a little curved line for a smile in the middle of his beard. Head up to the top of his head and find the middle with your finger. We're gonna draw a little cloud shape right there in the middle like this. That's his hair. Let's connect it to his head with a line here on the right. one on the left. Oh, let's make his crown next. Draw a short line going up from his head on the left and connect it to his hair all the way across. Now, keep it going over on the right side like this and close the rectangle. Now let's head back to the other side and draw a line going up and slightly leaning in and do the same on the right side like this. And connect him with one long straight line across. Now finish off the crown with two lines here. Oh yeah, he looks great. I think he needs some hair though. Let's start by drawing a little C shape over here for his ear. Then adding some bumps around the ear like this for his hair. 
and some bumps over here on the right. Okay, last, let's add his eyebrows. Draw one thin rectangle above his eye over here on the left and one on the right. Now fill him in. And there you have it, King Nebuchadnezzar. Thanks for drawing with me today, bye. Great job drawing King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar was helped because of Daniel's faith. Remember, Daniel was not afraid or discouraged. Instead, he was faithful by asking for God's help. That reminds me of our Bible verse. I wanna show you our Bible verse, but it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me and Bestos pop all the bubbles so we can read our Bible verse together? Grab your bubbles and let's pop some bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. The bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay. Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, Pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it. All right, all right. Keep going. Yay. We're almost there. We're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three. Keep going. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here. Pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Yay. Great job, I think we got all the bubbles. So we can see our Bible verse now. Joshua 1, 9 says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is a special verse and this special verse has a special song for us to sing. Let's stand up now and sing our Bible verse song together. This is Joshua 1, 9. Let's get ready to jump, here we go. And we're gonna say some hey. That was pretty good. Let's see if you can be louder. You ready? Hey! <laughs> All right, one more time as loud as you can say hey. Hey! Good job. Now let's sing. Be strong and courageous. Hey! Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Sing that out again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Keep on bouncing and say hey. hey. Joshua one nine. Hey. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Sing that out again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. You can have a seat now. That Bible verse reminds us that we can have courage because God is with us. He loves us and He will help us. So remember to be faithful by asking for God's help. Now it's time to meet up with our Scuppet friend, Winston, for another episode of Next Level. I heard he has something really awesome planned for today. So let's put on our listening ears and thinking caps and see how Winston takes today to the next level. Hey guys, 
I'm Joey. And we will see if he can win again today. Whoa, I really want to win. I mean, last time I was on the show, I won this really cool prize, a remote control car. Whoa, whoa. You want to give it a try, Winston? Oh, yes I do, yes I do. Oh, thank you. Whoa. whoa. Nice job, Winston. Thanks, but uh, I think I need some help with getting it to turn faster. <laughs> okay, um, I can help you. And you know what? Asking for help's actually a really good thing to do. Uh, who do you ask for help? Well, actually, a lot of times I ask God for help. I mean, God's our helper, and he knows the answer to everything. He created everybody and everything. Does God know how to make a fast turn with the remote control car? T probably. I mean, God helps us to know what to do, but he also gives us people who can help us too, like our parents or people at church or our friends who really love Jesus. Huh. Uh, what kind of things can those people help us with? Well, they can help you with something you're making, or they can help you read a book, or help you find something that's lost. Or they can even help you how to do something like this. Whoa, drive Whoa! the joystick. Oh, I did it. Nice well, job, Winston. Good know, work. Thank you. Well, it was with your help, of course. But we're here to take it to the next level. OK, I'm ready. What is it? Time for your challenge today, Joey. You have to drive in the car around the course. Winston, that car's tiny. I, I can't fit in there. You can if I take it to the next level. Ooh. Whoa! That is next level, Winston! Yep! Hey, I think I might need some help going through the course. Do you think you can help? Sure! Do you think this will work? I think so. Test it out. Whoa! Whoa. Awesome! Okay, Winston, let's do this. I'm gonna jump in. You got it! This is gonna be cool! It's working! Whoa! Whoa! Winston! Watch out for Hector! Oh, yep! Whoa! See, this is why you have to ask for help. Things are so much cooler. And you're actually being faithful by asking for help. Turbo boost! Whoa! Whoa! You're doing great, Winston! Whoa! Good job, Winston! Nice turn! Woohoo! Woohoo! Winston! That was awesome! Yeah, we did it! And for your prize, you get another ride in the car! All right! That's gonna be an awesome prize! I can't wait! When you were in the car, you said something about being faithful! How can we be faithful by asking for help? Well, we can be faithful when we pray and talk to God about things we don't understand. Um, will God give us an answer? Yeah, but we may have to wait for it. We have to be patient. But remember that God's always with us and he'll always help us. Neat. Well, Joey, you have reached the next level! Yes, I can't wait for the next time. Friends, come back next time to see Joey go to the next level! Oh, yeah! And hey, remember that you can be faithful by asking God for help. God's with you and he'll always help you when you ask. We'll see you next time. I'm going back in. All right, let's do this. Here we go, Joey. Are you ready? Round two. Round let's go. Two. That was so much fun. We can have next level faith when we ask for what? Help. Help. All right, so let's pray together. Let's take five fingers from over here. Yep. Five fingers from over here. Yep. And let's put them together. All right, now repeat after me. God. God. Help us remember. Help us remember to ask for help when we need it. Um, ask for help when we need it. Amen. Amen. All right. See you Oasis next time. Bye. Kids. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye. bye.